Yeah, welcome back to our chemistry class. Today's topic is going to be on calculation involving chemical formulae. The first one we're going to be looking at in this aspect is how to calculate the relative molecular mass of a compound. To calculate the relative molecular mass of a compound, we need the knowledge of the atomic mass of the elements. The relative atomic molecular mass of any compound can be calculated by adding the atomic masses of each element that make up the molecules. Now, let's dive in. Example 1. Calculate the relative molecular mass of this, the following compounds or molecules. Given the atomic masses of the elements involved, hydrogen equals to 1, oxygen equals to 16, chlorine equals to 35.5. Now, the first one is hydrogen. The atomic mass of hydrogen here, we have 1 multiplied by 2. So 1 times 2, we have 2. So the relative molecular mass of hydrogen molecule here is 2. The second one, Oxygen molecule, the atomic mass of oxygen is 16 multiplied by 2, which gives 32. Third one, HCl, atomic mass of hydrogen, here is 1 plus chlorine, 35.5. When we sum it up, we have 36.5. D, H2O. Atomic mass of hydrogen is 1, multiplied by the 2, then plus 16. 1 multiplied by 2, we have 2, plus 16. So 2 plus 16, we have 18. So this is how to calculate the relative molecular mass of these compounds. Example 2, calculate the relative molecular mass of these compounds, given the atomic mass masses of each element involved in the compounds. Now, let's start from the first one. CaCO3. Atomic mass of calcium here is 40 plus carbon is 12 plus oxygen 16. It has 3 multiplied by 3. So we have 40 plus 12 plus 16 times 3 we have 48, so 40 plus 12, we have 52, plus 48, we have 100. The second one, magnesium triozonitrate 5, magnesium Mg24, plus these two is for everything here. Open your bracket, larger bracket this way. Our nitrogen is given as 14, plus Oxygen given as 16, multiply by 3, this 3, then bracket 2. So we have 24 plus 14 plus 16 times 3, we have 48. So we have 24 plus, so 14 plus 48, so we have 62. Then now multiply by this 2. That is 24 plus 62 times 2, we have 124. So when we sum it up, we have 148. So that is the relative molecular mass of magnesium triosinate H5. The last one, sodium triosocarbonate 4 decahydrates. Atomic mass of sodium, which is Na, is not given here, so, but it is 23. So sodium is 23, multiplied by 2, then plus carbon, that is 16, oxygen, Oh, sorry, carbon is 12, carbon is 12, then oxygen is 16, multiply by 3, then plus this thing before here is for everything, it's for hydrogen, it's also for oxygen, so we have 10, open your bracket, hydrogen is 1 times 2, plus oxygen is 16, so we have 23 times 2, we have 46, plus 12, plus 16 times 3, we have 48, then plus 10 brackets, 1 times 2 is 2, plus 16, we have 18. So here we have 46 
plus 12 plus 48 plus 10 multiplied by 18, we have 180. So when you sum up everything, we have 286. So this is the relative molecular masses of the given compounds. Example 3. A metallic oxide, M2O3, has a relative molecular mass of 160. Calculate the relative atomic mass of M. To do this, don't forget that relative molecular mass is the sum of the individual atomic elements, atom, the atomic mass of the elements that make up the compound. Meaning, MR, let's this represent relative molecular mass, equals to M2O3. And the relative molecular mass given here is 160, is equals to M multiplied by the subscript 2 plus atomic mass of oxygen 16 multiplied by 3. So we have 160 equals to 2 times M, we have 2M plus 48. Now take this this way, 160 minus 48 equals to 2M. So 2M is equals to, when you take away 48 from 160, we have 1 and 12, so you divide both sides by 2, 2m two divided by 2 equals 1, 1, 2 divided by 2. 2 goes here, 2 goes here, we have m equals to 56. So the relative atomic mass of m in this compound is equals to 56. So this is how to calculate the relative molecular mass of compounds. Do share to other learners, they have to benefit from this classes and if you are a new member on this channel kindly subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell for my subsequent and interesting classes thank you